Michael Drayton's poem Tell Me Thou Skillful Shepherd Swine is part of his larger collection of pastoral poetry. Drayton, a prominent poet of the Elizabethan and Jacobean eras, frequently used pastoral settings to explore complex human emotions, especially in the context of love relationships and the natural world. In this particular poem the speaker addresses a shepherd asking for wisdom and guidance in matters of the heart while also reflecting on the emotional turmoil caused by love the poem is struck a dialogue or a direct question to a shepherd who is often considered a symbol of symbol wisdom and harmony with nature the speaker likely a figure representing someone in emotional distress seeks advice from the shepherd shepherds in pastoral poetry are tip- are typically portrayed as figures with a deep connection to nature and are often thought to possess a kind of earthly wisdom about life love and the natural world at the heart of the poem is the speaker's struggle with love The speaker is likely dealing with the pain of unrequited a common theme in pastoral and elizabethan poetry by turning to the shepherd the speaker seems to be looking for clarity comfort or perhaps a way to navigate the complexities of his feelings the shepherd with his presumed wisdom becomes a figure of guidance though Drayton's treatment of the topic leaves much room for interpretation as to whether the speaker finds a satisfying answer one of the central themes in the poem is the conflict between love and emotional pain the speaker seems deeply troubled by his feelings expressing confusion and perhaps and perhaps frustration over the experience of love The shepherd in his role as a wise figure is expected to offer some form of advice or solution to this dilemma. Drayton's use of this dialogue format creates a contrast between the speaker who is caught up in the turmoil of love and the shepherd who represents calm, reason and a deeper understanding of life's natural cycles. The speaker's question to the shepherd suggests a sense of helplessness. He feels that love instead of bringing joy has caused confusion and suffering this is a common trope in elizabethan poetry where love is often depicted as both beautiful and painful capable of uplifting or devastating those who experience it drayton uses this traditional view of love to create a powerful emotion undercurrent in the poem highlighting the tension between idealized love and the reality of human emotions As with much of Drayton's pastoral poetry this poem is rich with imagery that evokes the natural world the shepherd with his connection to the land symbolizes a simpler more harmonious way of life the pastoral setting typically featuring open fields peaceful streams and grazing animals serves as a backdrop for the emotional complexity of the speaker's inner turmoil this contrast between the tranquility of nature and the speaker's emotional unrest is a common feature in pastoral poetry and drayton employs it employs it effectively here in pastoral literature nature is often depicted as a source of wisdom and peace and characters like the shepherd are often viewed as being more in tune with the natural rhythms of life In this poem the speaker's turn to the shepherd can be seen as a longing for harmony a desire to reconcile his troubled feelings with the natural world however there is also an underlying suggestion that such a reconciliation may be difficult or even impossible to achieve the speaker's emotional conflict may be too complex to be resolved through simple advice even from a figure as wise as the shepherd the shepherd's role in the poem is multifaceted he serves as both a symbol of simplicity and a potential source of wisdom for the speaker the speaker's request for guidance reflects the common belief that those who live in close connection with nature like shepherd shepherds possess a kind of practical knowledge that is unavailable to those caught up in the complexities of society and love in this sense the shepherd embodies a kind of purity and straightforwardness that the speaker longs for
At the same time, the shepherd's wisdom is not guaranteed to procure with the answers he speaks. Dryden may be suggesting that love is too complicated and deeply personal to be solved by simple advice. The pastoral setting with its idealized vision of rural life can offer a contrast to the speaker's emotional turmoil but may not be able to resolve it entirely. The shepherd's response or lack could be interpreted as an acknowledgement of the limitations of pastoral wisdom in the face of complex human emotions.